The light, the architecture, the color of the stone. Here, everything's a reminder of Rome. And yet, we're miles away from the Eternal City in Nîmes, in the city center, the ancient Roman arena. Just like 2,000 years ago, games are about to be held. Gladiators are set to do battle. The man behind this reconstruction is Eric Tessier, who usually gives history lessons in a very different amphitheater at the university. And no thumbs down. That didn't exist. I've been telling people for 10 years. That's better. <laughs> I script and direct the ancient Roman games show. And I have to adapt history so that the show, which can have 36,000 spectators, is intelligible without betraying history. This grand show is now 10 years old. It involves 500 participants, including Jeanne, a seasoned horse rider. This morning, we're introducing our horses to the arena, and we're getting our bearings with regard to the scenery, which moves around. So we're getting our horses used to that. They're actors, but also bakers, policemen, and company bosses, like Jean-Luc, who's taking part in his ninth games. Like this. And you've got it. One, two, three, like that. The decoration is based on ancient sculptures and frescoes found nearby. The inside is blue, a blue that's found throughout the Mediterranean region. Look lively, legionaries. Go, 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 auxiliaries too. Just 24 hours before the show opens. A stickler for detail, Eric even directs his troops in Latin. That's no good. And in French when necessary. What's this bunch doing on the left? You should all be in line. Jean-Luc, they're not in line, just in front of you. Guys, get in line, fill in all the gaps. You can't make an entrance like that tomorrow. Will you be ready for tomorrow? No, never. But we have to do it. I mean, this is a normal dress rehearsal where nothing works. The tortoise, as seen in Asterix and Gladiator movies, really did exist in ancient battle. That's the worst tortoise I've ever seen. Tomorrow, Eric will give a lecture unlike any other. The aim of the show, which he has written and directed, is to share his knowledge. I'm from the Asterix generation, which may explain my desire to pass on knowledge. Plus, there are also all these stones, which have stood here for 2,000 years. The stones in the arena date from the late 1st century CE, a time when Nîmes was a Roman colony. As far back as 2,000 years ago, people were already rushing through the vaulted passageways to watch the show. Back in Roman days, craftsmen, burghers and farmers would travel long distances to watch the shows. The Nîmes Arena has a seating capacity of 24,000, and the population of the city certainly never reached that figure. That shows that people came from far away to watch the incredible combats. It's the big day. Jean-Luc and his troops dress in their legionary uniforms. Everything must be perfect. In the Roman army, all material and equipment was exceedingly well maintained. We fasten it there. The reenactors make their own costumes, using the techniques and materials employed in the days of ancient Rome. And it's very painstaking work. OK, guys, ready? which finally grabs the spotlight during the Roman army march past. Every street corner has impressive ancient reconstructions. Transported back to the Rome of Julius Caesar, the audience wants more. 12,000 spectators enter the arena. The great games can begin.
This is very close to the real-life Roman games of 2,000 years ago here in Nîmes. The most famous slaves' revolt of antiquity, that of Spartacus, is reconstructed in the arena. Jean plays the wife of the rebel gladiator. The moment we're in the bullpen, there's a kind of transformation. It's like I've gone through the looking glass. Jousting, gladiatorial combats, epic battle. Like every good Roman general, Eric gives 100% for the full two hours of the show, which he feels is a great success. I like to present living history, and we've just shown that history is well and truly alive. Between 10 and 12,000 spectators, I don't think that any university lecture halls are ever as full as that. In Nîmes, the passion for ancient Rome is more alive than ever.